Morning, everybody. Peter Rennert here, creator and founder of Telos Tennis on a cool morning in Southern California. Telos Tennis provides you with awareness-based solutions that can help you improve any and every aspect of your game. From mechanically efficient strokes to physical, emotional, and mental resilience. Today, I'm going to focus the lens of Telos on why do we play better when we play up and worse when we play down. And I'm gonna give you three things that you can focus on so that you can not only play your best when you play up, but when you play down, and you can also have breakthroughs and get better, no matter who you play. When I was a kid in the juniors, we all wanted to play up. And the reason we wanted to play up is because there was no pressure. We weren't expected to win, there was nothing to lose, so we could relax, and when we relax, we play better. On the flip side of that, no one wanted to play down because we had everything to lose, and if it got close, we'd get tight, and if we got tight, we played worse, and it was sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy there. Another reason why we play better up is because the person who's stronger than us often has a better connection to their power, and they're supplying the power, and things have fa happen faster. So we don't really have time to think. Whereas when we're playing someone who hits a soft, easy ball, we have tons of time to think, and if we don't have mechanically efficient strokes, and we can't really supply the power and direct the power, we start missing those easy balls, and then we get tight, and we get tighter and tighter and tighter, and again, that leads to our poor play. So, there's three things that I'm going to give you right now that you can do so you not only play your best when you play up, you play your best when you play down. First, in order to play our best, we need to be relaxed. So you can breathe at the moment of contact with the ball. Focus on that. Make the sound mm, right as you hit the ball. Mm. Mm. That connects you to the relaxation part of your nervous system. Mm. It connects your mind and your body, and it connects you to the ball. Mm. Incredibly powerful thing that you can do, no matter mm. what the level of player you're playing against. Mm. Okay, two, nice and easy. What we call Telos, a gear one ball. Don't try to hit it hard. A nice, easy ball, no strain, feels like almost mm. no effort. And using that gear one ball, mm at the moment of contact. So those are two things that you can focus on. Nice, easy ball and breathe at the moment of contact. The third thing that you can focus on is your contact point. Most of us don't know what our ideal contact point is. We don't know that when we hit a forehand down the line, our contact point might be different than if we hit a forehand cross court. And no one can tell you what your ideal contact point is. You have to figure it out for yourself. And here's how you're gonna do that. When you hit a shot that feels good or that feels great, take a snapshot in your mind of the shot. Then take a look at the snapshot and notice three things. Notice what was the height of the ball when you made contact? Was it chest high? Was it waist high? Where was it? Notice the distance in front of you or behind you. Was it way out in front of you, like two feet in front, a foot in front? Was it right at your body? And notice how far away from you it was. Was your arm fully outstretched? Was it close to you? Was it in tight? Those three things. Triangulate your contact point. Anytime you hit a shot that feels great. That's three things that you can do so that you can not only play your best when you play up or down, but you can have breakthroughs and get better every single time you step on the court. That is the promise of Telos Tennis. I'm Peter Rennert for Telos Tennis, signing out.